What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', mystery gang? How y'all doing today? It's Thursday. It's a beautiful day in Buffalo. And today, I, I mean, I just want to give y'all a video because I think I missed yesterday. But don't kill me, though. Don't kill me, though. Don't kill me. I said I was getting videos this week, Thursday, Friday. I said I was getting y'all videos. Okay? So don't, don't kill me, don't kill me, all right? Because tomorrow is my last video, and then it's prom week. So don't kill me, all right? But yes, if you haven't read the description below, or the title below, at least. Because I don't think I ever read the description. I think, I mean, y'all read the title, or I just click on the video that I post. But yeah, I'm doing gay stereotypes. And if they are true, and if they are false, and so I'm going to elaborate on a few things. But this video is not to change straight people's mind about gay people because i don't i don't i kind of don't care what y'all think because y'all already look at it it's like you know but it's to educate y'all on some things because you know or open your eyes to a few things it's not a change of mind it's just you know think of it in a different way because some of these stereotypes may be true some of these stereotypes may not be true but i'm on a database and it's giving me top 10 stereotypes so let's get into the video shall we Okay, so number one on the list is gay men are all feminine. No, that's that that the gay men are not all feminine. That is that is like the worst stereotype. Feminine. Do I seem feminine to y'all? No, I I don't. You know, I don't. Mm -mm. Some people, some of us are on the more feminine side, but not all of us are. Like I can't really. I when I'm around people, I don't really. I don't think I give off that feminine vibe. But there's nothing wrong if you do. But I just want to say, not all are like that. I'm gonna say that not all. There's a there's there's a good amount of us that are like that, but not all of us are like that. Okay, okay, cause I don't. I don't do that, okay? I, I chill, I talk, I eat, I just laugh, I be chilling. Okay, but not all of us is all like, you know, you know, all here with it. Some of us, you know, we got a level. We got, you know, right, we are here. All right, so moving on to the next one is gay men are all into fashion, have tidy apartments, and love Madonna. First of all, I don't, I don't I've never listened to a Madonna song ever in my life. I don't really, I don't even know what she looked like. I, I really don't even know what what she looked like. Second of all, tidy apartments. My room, okay. Monday through Friday, my room is a mess because in the morning, I like I I have trouble finding out what to wear. Like this, I have trouble finding out like what to wear. Like right here because this was just sitting on my on my chair and I didn't even wrinkle it. I I didn't even iron it or nothing because. It's just, Shoot, I mean, it's just a video, y'all. I mean, it ain't, ain't, ain't too serious. And, I mean, my room is pretty put together. But it's not always intact. It's not always clean. It's not always tidy. And another thing is men are into fashion. It's not our fault that we have good taste in clothes. <laughs> like, into fashion or fashionable, I like to say. I like to say we're all... Most of us are fashionable. We like to piece things together that, you know, a lot of straight people are, you know, are scared to do because they might get called, you know, gay. They might get called, you know, bi. They might get called, you know, suspect. So it's like we, we can piece little, you know, little things here and there that, you know, are unique. Are they're, they're different and they're really articulate and they're very, you know, popping. I, I feel like the gay man has the best fashion ever. On to the next one. Gay men are attracted to all men and can't control their desires. First of all, I'm not attracted to all guys, okay? We are not attracted. Just because we are gay does not mean we just love penis. No. Or we just love, you know, another... That's not the case. That's not the case whatsoever. Like, I know a good amount of us that have are very picky and that only are only gay for certain kind of men. Some people are only gay for dark skinned men. Some people are only gay for big men. Some people are only gay for, you know, 
muscular or Hispanics or they're only gay for a certain bread. Other than that, they won't they won't touch, they won't do anything. There's some of us that are like that. So it's not that we like all men, we just lust after dingling and balls and no no. We don't do that. It no, we some we have morals too. We're not we're not like hoes. We're not like that. We we have morals, we have types, we have, you know, standards. I mean some people they won't even some of us won't even talk to people if they don't even have like good education. You know what I'm saying? So we're not less lusting after just the penis. You know, that's not us. Moving on to the fourth thing. Gay men are promiscuous and obsessed with sex. I can almost tell you right now that that's not the case. Because I feel like the straight man is hornier than a gay man. But we just gonna we just gonna keep it right here, okay? Because obsessed with sex, really? I, listen, I can tell you the last time I had sex was January, y'all. Okay, January. So obsessed? I I I think not. I I think no. Mm mm. I'm not obsessed. Not not by not. Mm mm. Sorry. That ain't all of us. It's a lot of us that are horny, if you wanna say that. But obsessed. And promiscuous. Uh, mm -mm, that's not all. Sorry. On to the next topic. Gay men focus on anal sex and mimic male female roles. Huh? Gay men focus on anal sex and mimic male slash female sex roles. If they're referring to, I, I don't know what they what they mean by this, but if they they're referring to as like the top bottom thing. We don't role play, or we I some some do, but it's not like we play a certain role. It, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get what they what they mean. I, I don't even see how this is a stereotype. Our our anal anal sex and they focus on anal sex and mimic male and female roles. I, I don't, I can't speak on people's sex life. I really can't because everybody's different. But I can speak on like for me. I don't, I don't focus on roles or anything like that. I just do what I do if, if I get to that point. But most of the time, I don't get to that point because I'm, I'm a, <laughs> I don't do that, okay? I don't get into stuff like that. So, on to the next one. Number six on the list, HIV and AIDS. Okay, this is the next topic. HIV slash AIDS is primarily a disease among gay men. I would like to, because I, we we talk about it all the time in the little focus groups that I go to. We don't. It's not like if you do anything with us, you touch us, you give us help. We we have it. There's been a a a, a, a great amount of increase in the HIV slash H in the gay community over the past three years. So it's not so much as we carry it it is back then we were more less educated on it and more frequent and more loose with it i think it is we were not as you know educated as we are now about it there's been a decrease there has been a significant amount of decrease in 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 the disease in the gay community within itself I can't speak on, you know, a lot of shit because I, I don't do the statistics on all that. Statis, statis, statistics, I think that's how you say it. But I've not done that, but we talked about it in a lot of groups. But it's, we we are more educated on this, on the fact and we are more, you know, precautious. We're more aware of what is out there now. Because back then, you know, back in, you know, early 2000s, we were not so, you know, well educated and more re-upped on it. Next topic. Um, male homosexuals is caused by parenting or trauma in childhood. I, w I would like to say this. I think what people are trying to, you know, elaborate on is the fact that, okay, as a child, you were raped or you were molested or something like that made you to be this way. I'm going to tell you this right now. I, me personally, I'll say this. And I'll, this is mystery game. We we here we here because I'm I'm comfortable now. I was I had a childhood trauma, 
was not raped. I was not raped. I was not raped. Inappropriately, probably, you know, touched, maybe. Maybe that. But I was not raped or I was not forced to have sex. No, no one sexually abused me. Touching is different for me. Have I had that experience? I had that experience, yes. But it didn't, it's not, it didn't make me who I am today. It didn't cause my sexuality. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I, uh, I don't think it really triggered any, like a, like a bone in my body. It didn't trigger anything, actually. It just, it's a choice, I think. It's, it's who you love. It's like, you don't choose to fall in love with somebody. You don't choose that. It just happens. So when it happens to be a boy, it just happens that way. When you when you feel some people when you feel in your body that I don't I I'm I'm not a male, I don't feel like I'm, you know, masculine enough, then you might start that's the curious bone, that's the you know your mind starts to turn. But what I can say is it's not the childhood trauma I don't believe being raped or being touched or being, you know, sexually abused as a child makes you gay or even triggers a bone in your, your body to be gay. I don't, there's some people who will use that excuse or, oh my God, when I was younger, my uncle or my, you know, my neighbor, my good family friend did this to me. I don't feel that way. I don't feel, I feel like that excuse is so tired. It's so like it's petty, and you're blaming someone else on the on on your sexuality when that's not the case. You're blaming somebody else because of who you love or what you like. You think about it this way: you was raped as a child, correct? You raped as a child. You must have had liked that experience to continue on that way. Think about it, like. People might bash me in the comments, but comment what you think about this, please. Just comment on what you think about this, because I'm touching on a real, a real touchy subject, rape and all that. But if you were raped as a child, wouldn't and, and you still, you know, you're like that this way, you know, you're you're gay, and you're using that as an excuse. That means you liked it from the start, or you enjoyed it, or you, you know, you've been curious about it, you know. And then people will always use that as an excuse, like it's his fault, it's. Her fault is, you know, that person's fault, the next person's fault, because of who you like. That ain't nobody's fault but your own. You like that. They didn't, you know, force you to be that way. You like it, you enjoy it, you indulge in it. Period. Simple. That's it. No rape. None of that. You know, that. that's it. Next topic. Um. The ninth are, are one of the last ones. Gay men can't be trusted around male ch children. Excuse me. I worked. My first job was at a, a, a at a daycare, and I was a teacher there. That was my first job. I was a camp counselor, and and a daycare um, I guess you can call a a, a daycare monitor or something, something like that. That was that was one of my job titles. That was my first job. That's that's bullshit. That's that's complete bullshit. I have a little sister. She's three years old. Okay. Yeah, she's three. She's three years old. I can't be trusted around her. What am I gonna do? What What am I gonna do to that child? We We, as gay men, we're gonna force ourselves on to children. That's sick. That's pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic. That's That's really pathetic. If you guys, if people in the world think that, that's That's really pathetic. And And I don't even know why they like. I'm reading off of this little this little database here. By the way. On Huff's Huff Post, and you can go, you know, Google it. And this is what they're saying: they're saying that gay men can't be trusted around male children. What, what, what are we gonna do? What, what are we gonna do to them? Write them? No, that's that's not what we're here for. Last and final topic: two gay men as a couple can't raise a healthy and happy children. This is getting this is getting me really aggravated. This is that's the last topic on there. That's the top ten, and this is getting me really aggravated. And I'm sorry, y'all. 
So you're saying because I am with a boy, with a man, I can't raise a child good. Why not? Why not? If, if, if the parenting, it doesn't matter if a parent is a parent and is a good parent to their child. It does not matter if you're male or female, you know, in a relationship together or male and male. It doesn't matter. What about the single dads out there? So because a single dad is a single dad and he's a, he's only he's the only male in that child's life, they're not they're not brought up right. What if there wasn't a female even present? You know, for for a amount of time I used to live with only my dad and there was no female present. So what are you saying? That two males can't raise a good child. This is you know, or 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 because we're gay, our child is gonna be gay. We're gonna raise that child to be exactly how they want it, whether they pick up traits from us or not. That's fine. Love them regardless. You know, more power to us. But still, that, that I don't I don't agree with that. I'm sorry. I feel like two males can raise a perfect child together. But me personally. I'm doing, I, I want the surrogate way. I want to have a child from a surrogate and just be an only parent. I, I don't want a male and male or a male and female. I don't want a baby mama. I don't want a baby dad. I don't, no. They just want me and my child. That's it. But that is it for this video, and I don't want to make it too long. I want this nice, beautiful Thursday that we are chilling at, and I have a day off. Yes, from school, from work. I'm chilling today, and I got to make some moves for prom next week, and... I had to go get the little tripod thing and everything, so it will be the most litest prom vlog you will ever see. <laughs> okay, I feel like it is going to be really nice, it's going to be really put together, and you guys should tune in. And that is it for this video. Do not forget to pause that like button, do not forget to bark up them comments with hashtag mystery game, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to watch me because I'm very interesting, and yes, I'm one of the Fastest growing YouTube channels in Buffalo right now. Key in, key in, key in, key in, key in, key in, key in to me. All right, so without further ado, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye. I mean, <laughs> we the best music. I said the top of the Maybach. I said the top of another one. I said the top of the Maybach.